Okay, Derek, I think the problem that you're having with bringing images into an artboard is that you're not grabbing them large enough files. So if you go and you're looking, for example, this World War II planes, and you go to search, do you see there it says size? And you can look up large images, okay? So then when you found a large image, you can see here that the this is the point number. So let's say you wanted to use something like this. If you click on it, there's one size, okay? But again, you can still go to view image. Oh, and of course, sorry, at school here, it's filtered. But you always want to get the biggest image that you can. Let me, uh, that's DBNR. Let me see if I can find. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so now this is the size that you'd want to take and drop into um, your Photoshop file. So if you grab it and drag it into Photoshop, there's your poster. It's nice and big and the right size. What happened here was, let me just move this over a little bit. What happened here was this picture is stretched out and it's pixelated and all of that. Plus, I see this artboard here. You'll see like the, the transparency there. Well, when you print that, that's going to be white. So what you want to do, I'm going to bring the layers panel over here. What you want to do is to kind of cover the transparency, make a new layer, pull it down to the bottom here, and just go to edit and choose fill. Sorry, I'm off the screen here a little bit with white. And then you have this um, you'll be able to have this white section here, and then for this picture, I, I think um, if you find a larger picture, you won't have any blurriness. So if you want to go and find another picture and resubmit it to me, resubmit it to me as a JPEG and just email me, okay? All right, Derek, thanks. I hope that helps.